Howdy y'all, you got the Bulldog on the channel. Uh, this car come in here a couple days ago. Customer complaint that it won't go into park. Uh, she, it wouldn't, it couldn't get it all the way up into park. It, uh, uh, so therefore she couldn't get the key out of the ignition or nothing. Couldn't lock the car up. Uh, told her, well, we just have to see it. You know, she got it over here. She knew how to start it in neutral and come over here and I confirmed the symptom. Sure enough, wouldn't go all the way up in the park. It'd get to reverse and it just wouldn't go forward. Now, here, showing you, there we go. I'm pushing the button, we'll go forward. Now watch this. What is going on is if you try to pull on this button up here before you hit the brake, which it has a shift interlock on it, this thing will push up on the handle. And if it's up at the exact right distance, It'll go in all the other gears, but not forward into park. Here, I'll show you what holds this. It's that little slot right there. That is supposed to have, it's kind of like a staple, a heavy duty staple in it. And the whole thing just plops down in there into this groove right here now everybody was talking about you know what I had suggested maybe there's a interlock solenoid bad I've seen them bad on these shifters maybe there's uh, a problem with uh, shift cable I've seen those problems somebody told her it might be the transmission there's a problem with the transmission or something no just a handle because a five cent clip is missing now I don't know exactly how much this thing's going to cost because you don't buy that five cent clip you have to buy the entire thing or uh, make something work. That's what we're going to do right now is we're going to try to find something to make it work and see if we can get her by as cheap as we can. Uh, otherwise, we'll probably have to go to a salvage yard and see if we can pop one out of an older car. But we're having trouble. The, the people we service are usually second-hand, third-hand buyers uh, and that big craze here a few years ago, cash for clunkers, it hurt me, it hurt the business, it hurt a whole lot of people that couldn't afford a new car, because instead of people trading in a car, and that car going to the secondary market, uh, it got crushed. So, there was no secondary market. That drove up the price of the third-hand market. All that was running out there was junk. Ironically, cash for clunkers wouldn't take a clunker. It would only take cars in good running condition with two years previous uh 
licensing. And it wiped out millions of good running vehicles. Uh, it wiped out the secondary market for parts. Salvage yards were inundated with certain parts. You know, some of them, they were illegal to sell. They would actually pour liquid glass in the fuel tank and run the engine wide open until it blew up to ensure that it could not be sold. Uh, I know a couple people that they that worked at dealerships, that was their job, was to blow the motor up on those cash for clunkers cars. Uh, so, you couldn't get a motor. Transmissions, rear ends, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you had a glut of those parts, so they just started crushing them in whole. Uh, and so they were dirt cheap for a little while. And then they got horribly expensive because once they sold out, there was no more coming in. Uh, put a hurting on everybody for about a year and a half, two years. And it took me a long time to recover from that. Uh, you know, as you can see, I kind of get off on the rants a little bit about stuff in the past and things that make me think. But that's, we're still feeling the effects of that. And that was, what, 12, 12 years ago? Uh, because, the well, these cars didn't get replaced. They, they're gone. Uh, you can find stuff every once in a while. But that's just a, a, an example of a, a little bitty piece that's just pennies, or it should be just pennies, and can't find it. Can't find the right one, got to make something work. It's not quite right, but, you know, uh, in order to get this part, you're supposed to buy the entire assembly, you know, hundreds of dollars for a little nickel worth of, of metal. But uh, I just wanted to pop on here and show you this uh, like comment subscribe and we'll talk at y'all later